We've heard a lot about vaccination since the COVID-19 pandemic, but sadly the diseases we've been vaccinating against have not gone away. In fact, fewer young people have been having these vaccines, which means that these diseases may come back. Human papillomavirus or HPV is one of those diseases. The vaccine against HPV is proven to protect you from several different cancers, including cervical cancers, cancers of the genital area and cancers of the throat and mouth. We've been making fantastic progress at reducing the numbers of young people diagnosed with these cancers, and this is mainly due to the large number of young people being vaccinated. Worldwide, approximately 300 million doses of the vaccine have been given. We know that HPV viruses are extremely common. HPV is contracted through sexual activity, including skin-to-skin -skin contact of the genital area. Some types of this virus can exist undetected for many years, which is why having this vaccine early is so important. So we know that this vaccine is really effective and really safe. And that is why it's really important to vaccinate as many young people as possible so that we can eradicate or hopefully reduce these diseases for the future. Your teenager will be offered this vaccine in school year eight. One dose will protect most teenagers from many strains of HPV. It's important that this vaccine is given before a young person becomes sexually active as the immune systems of young people aged between 12 and 13 respond well to vaccinations and that's why this is given at this age. The vaccine is given as an injection in the upper arm and is free on the NHS. We will send out an information email through your teenager's school during year eight with more information about this, when the session will be, how to complete the consent form, and this will be a few weeks before the school age immunization team visits the school. In the email sent to you, you will find a link to the online consent form Please follow the link and complete the form even if you don't want your young person to have the vaccinations. Sometimes parents and carers don't complete the consent form. By doing this they think that they refuse the vaccines. This is not correct. It's really important that we know your wishes. So whether you want your child to have the vaccine or you don't, please make sure you complete the consent form. Pupils in secondary schools can also consent for themselves if they have a good understanding of the risks and benefits of having the vaccines and if they want to be vaccinated. But for pupils in year eight, we would usually make every effort to contact parents and carers. We would always recommend that you have a conversation with your teenager so that we know your wishes and theirs. We know that some young people get worried about having an injection. So if you think that that's your teenager, please write it on the consent form so the nurse is aware on the day. We will do everything we can to make it as worry-free as possible. If your teenager is really scared of needles and you think they will be better having their vaccinations with you present and out of school, we can offer this in a community setting. If you are unable to complete the consent form online or struggle in any way, then please ring our office on 0300 124 0366. If you would like any more information about the vaccination programme for teenagers, please visit the NHS website at www.nhs.uk.